Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum dear students and welcome to the lecture on report writing skills. Dear students, if you remember um, in um, the lecture on a resume writing, we discussed one thing that a resume is that thing which gives you uh, the chances to get uh, a job uh, interview available to you. That means gets you a chance uh, to uh, get uh, admitted or get an entry towards the job interview for getting any job and in the last in that lecture we also discussed one more thing and that was that the maximum and average time given as research proves that to a single CV for its selection or rejection is merely 30 seconds so these are these 30 seconds in which your CV will be either accepted or rejected. So uh, your CV in these 30 seconds um, has to make an impression. Whether the impression will be a positive impression or it will be a negative impression and plenty of times there is a situation in which a very professionally designed CV even is rejected in those 30 seconds. So if a professionally designed CV is having the chances to get rejected in those 30 seconds, what to talk of a CV which on a first um, glance seems to be extremely funny and non-professional. So you're supposed to be extremely cautious about the outlook of your CV that it should not look like a funny amalgam of different cartoons and colors showing a very non-professional attitude of yours showing a very non-serious attitude of yours so one by one in front of you I will be opening up some CVs and we will be analyzing those CVs that whether those CVs are literally having a right to be accepted or not have a look on the screen Okay, dear students, in front of you, it's the beginning of a resume, beginning of a resume, here, and here goes the resume, have a look. Here, this is a resume. Have a look dear students, at this first part of the resume and there you will see a kind of distorted scenery drawn with mountains and so called tree and a sun and a house. So the person Ellen Yan has decorated uh, his resume with this scenery and then moving next year students kindly have a look it's highlighted with a red color now both these things any person having the common sense can judge that both these uh, things will be marked negatively when the CV would uh, might be assessed in those 30 seconds. Such a childish scenery, rather any scenery is not recommended um, on a CV. A CV is a very serious document with a summary of your qualification and experience and skills that should uh, show your serious, um, calm, poised, and um, you can say a very committed nature but this CV in front of you and the color scheming chosen by Mr. Ellen Yan they are talking of the immature personality and the beginning of the CV is simply like that of a two years old child so if the post say is of an assistant manager in some multinational company then nobody would like to have a two years old child in mind 
as the assistant manager of a multinational company. So this CV is having no chances to get accepted. Have a look on the screen. Sharp pointing colors, red color is not the color for a CV. CV is always, uh, a resume always demands a very light toned colors that we have already discussed in the previous lecture. Let us now move on to another example of a very funny CV. Again dear students, the same CV with multi colors. There is an addition of yellow color as well in addition to the red. So the person Ellen might have tried to improve um, the CV and the improvement that he tried to bring in was through the addition of yellow color. So further proving that the first assessment of Mr. Ellen Yan that he is a person with a very childish nature that assessment was correct. Further reducing the chances of the selection of the CV and thereby of the candidate for the interview. This pinching yellow color is also not recommended for a CV in this highlighting style. Another example of a non-professional CV. Dear students in front of you beginning with the scenery and then moving on to the background and highlighting colors of red and pinching yellow. Okay. Never use such colors in a CV dear students and never try to begin your resume with this style in this style <clears throat> and yet another example dear students Mr. Allen has yet tried again to improve the CV and he simply increased the margins of the red color over here so further deteriorating the situation to in which Mr. Allen is already standing on a ground which is not safe. Have a look. Another example of a non-professional color scheming and a CV in front of you. Then dear students, Mr. Allen was advised to kindly change the color scheming of your CV and then he further moved on to another color and that was dark green tone. Have a look on the screen. He did not uh, like to change the scenery but he moved to the dark green tone. Here are your students in front of you on the screen. Again, this is an example of a very non-professional CV. Not recommended. Another example. Then dear students, Mr. Allen further tried to improve it on the advice of some friends. Still he did not remove the scenery, but he did one more thing, one good thing, and that was he removed the colors in the background, the funny colors and the shocking colors in the background. But then he increased um, the font size that much that it seems as if uh, the CV is written for some people who are having uh, very bad eyesight. Have a look. The font size is awkwardly large. Awkwardly big font size. In front of you on the screen. Again this CV is not giving a professional look because the font size that is selected is itself is speaking of um, um, an awkward selection by a professional. That means if the person whom uh, any multinational company is uh, uh, trying to select for the post of say assistant manager 
is not even having the sense of the uh, good and professional font size then how can that company expect that person to good for uh, to go for good and good professional decisions correct decisions when that person has to decide about the size of the project about the installments in the project about the about the designing of the project any such thing which is related to very serious decisions if a person cannot decide the good font size for a professional resume then how can you rely on the decision making capability of a person whose decision making cannot guide him correctly or her correctly even in this minute matter of font size so this font size in front of you on the CV is not the recommended one. Your eyes and your common sense themselves guide you that this is not the professional font size. They, I'm not saying that there is any fixed font uh, size for this uh, resumes or CVs, but at least your common sense tells you that this, this in front of you on the screen is a bit too large, too big. Have a look again on the screen in front of you. Here, ninety nine percent for this CV would be thrown. That means the chances are ninety nine percent that this CV in front of you on the screen would be thrown in the dustbin. Okay, dear students, after that, kindly have a look on the screen. Mr. L. Yan tried to improve the CV by changing the font style. And over here in front of you is the new font style. And the name of this font style is Brush Script Empty. And dear students, as you can see, it's very difficult for you to read what is written over here. And when your employer or prospective employer is just having 30 seconds for your resume for its selection or rejection and then you are submitting your resume with this font style and expecting that your employer will be prospective employer will be kind enough to spare some more time in order to understand what is written over there on your resume. This is simply like living in a fool's paradise. There are hundreds of different candidates and hundreds of other good professional resumes available. Your resume with this such a pinching font style is going towards nothing but utter failure. Have a look. Hardly eligible. Kindly have a look on the screen. I'm scrolling it up and down for you. Then, dear students, Mr. Allen thought that okay, if this is the case then I might improve my CV by giving its uh, my resume by giving it uh, its text a mix of different colors for example beginning with the text of black color then moving on to the text of brown color then moving on to the text of green color and then ending up the CV now it looks attractive in as far as the thought of Mr. Alan Yan is concerned but the fact is this the impression that this attractive CV would be putting on the mind of an employer, employer would be simply that they would be more attracted towards rejecting this resume. 
just because of the multicolored text scheming that Mr. Allen has selected for it. And then this is not only multicolored, that this is having multi fonts as well, font sizes as well. Look at the font size over here, this is 26. Then the font size for the text of the same importance in the next side is 12 over here. Then over here, the color is brown and the font size is 11 over here. Then it's 12 in the green side. So it's a mixture of different fonts, a mixture of different colors of the texts and a mixture of different styles of the fonts as well. Highly non-professional. Never dear students try to experiment such designs for your resumes. Look again on the screen. I'm scrolling it up and down for you. Okay, moving on to the next example here. Your students kindly have a look on the screen. Now Mr. Ellen Yan has really put in a um, big effort to improve the CV and he has added up uh, these ice cream cones I think as borders on the sides of the CV and the color selected is a bit you know more attractive now it is parrot green I suppose in front of you and further he has added up one more advancement so to this resume and that is he has uh, converted all the headings into complete sentence headings First of all, you find over here, I am Ellen Yan. Next, my phone number is this. Next, my email address is this. Have a look on the screen, dear students. After that, dear students, my education is education. Another sentence of different quality, a very superior quality. My education is education. And then after that, the details then my occupation is then the details my awards are then the details my competencies and interests are as follows and then the details then the personal interests Dear students, your resume is a very serious document. I repeat again, your resume and you as a candidate for any job cannot afford such experiments, such funny and non-professional experiments like giving it the border of hearts, giving your resume the border of uh, red colored hearts or giving your resume the borders of some chocolate colored ice cream or giving your resume the borders of some red colored strawberries and then adding up complete sentences to your resume as I told you in the first lecture on resume writing is not recommended for a resume phrases are supposed to be added in resume not complete sentences Mr. Allen has started the CV with a complete sentence saying I am Ellen Yan and then my phone number is this my email address is this. This is highly non-professional and not recommended. Kindly do not try this ever in your resumes. You should be simply writing over here, Ellen Yan, then phone number, after it simply phone number, the heading phone number, then go for the phone number, and then the heading email address, go for the email address. Do not write my education is, simply give the heading of education. Or academic qualification then do not give it the heading my occupation is simply give it the heading of occupation or professional um, experience details my awards are do not write it as like this my awards are as follows simply give it the heading of awards after that my competencies and interests are as follows again a complete sentence similarly uh, simply give it a heading of competencies and interests 
moving on to the next style by mr allen let us see dear student here mr allen thought that the borders were not good so he simply removed the complete sentences yes and he changed the border by butterfly borders not recommended then here dear students mr allen further tried to improve the cv by only changing the border of the cv with red apples dear students a uh, resume or a cv is a not a personal document going on somewhere it's a very professional document it's not like a uh, um, um i don't know whether one should be using the word or not a love letter written to someone so the colors like red and the shapes like that of the heart or strawberry or apples are not for a professional document for a like a resume so the first impression that this thing would be uh, putting on the mind of the employer would never be positive it will be negative so avoid using such symbols and colors for your resume and here in front of you dear student mr allen then thought that he was being a bit too romantic so he simply went for the black tone black background black text so he is extremely serious now whether the text is visible to the employer or not but he is serious now have a look on the screen this is a total blackout in front of you on the screen i think i do not have to tell you that this resume will also go to the dustbin have a look on the screen another experiment by mr allen with a brown background page color of the page and white text a pinching combination again not for a resume and yet another kindly have a look on the screen lemon shocking green shocking lemon green plus parrot green a mixed kind of page color used by mr allen not the color for a resume dear students not recommended so dear students i and yet another in front of you on the screen this is an other trial by mr allen for um, uh, writing and making a professional resume and over here he tries the page color as red up till now he was uh, trying to go for the background of the text and highlighting of the text as red and yellow and over here he has tried the entire page as red not recommended again dear students this is not one of the cvs that might get recommended okay kindly have a look on the screen dear students here mr allen yan has uh, given you a cv with the borders that we have already discussed and i told you that this is not recommended but there is one more thing that is wrong over there in this cv kindly have a look on the screen that is he has not even put the headings in parallel for example the first heading over here after the name and the address you will find is looking at my school now it begins with a variant looking at my school but the next heading that you will be finding over there honor my awards now this is an imperative heading so that means he has Does not even use the parallel structure of headings while he is trying to devise, um, trying to make his CV look more professional, and he is simply leaving back the rule of parallel structure of headings, which is specially recommended in report writing skills, especially when you are writing the reports, writing the resumes, memorandums, or any other such documents. Next, 
my competencies and interests are as follows is a complete sentence heading not recommended for a CV again the last one understanding my personal interests a variant heading whereas the recommendation uh, for the use of the headings is whenever you are using the headings in the same degree you should be using them in the same type if you are using the variant type then you should be using the variant type headings in the same degree throughout if you are using the uh, imperative type um, headings then you should be using the imperative type headings throughout if you are using them in the same degree same is the case for the complete sentence headings and same is the case for um, the topic headings moving on to the next example here in front of you dear students apparently it seems the same uh, resume but kindly analyze it a bit deeply and you will find some grammatical errors over here in this resume as well first sentence of the first heading is candidate by bachelor a long mechanical engineering degree wrong prepositions being used candidate by bachelor what kind of preposition is this it might be candidate of bachelor but not by along mechanical engineering it should not be along it should be in mechanical engineering wrong prepositions being used by mr allen So dear students, this were, these were the few examples of uh, different non-professional uh, CVs in front of you. And now I will be opening up the same CV by Mr. Allen, uh, and the full name is Mr. Allen Yon. Mr. Allen Yon, in a professional style. Have a look on the screen, dear students. This is the professional style. And let me show you another experiment by Mr. Allen, by the way, that I missed out somehow. Where is it? It's not saved in over here. So let me show you the professional style of the CV by Mr. Allen Yan once more. In front of you, dear students, at last Mr. Allen Yan was successful to... Um, write the resume in a professional style kindly have a look on the screen he did put his photograph passport size on that corner after that his name then it is simply the name without making it a complete sentence then the contact number and then the email address after that you will find the heading education then the dates dear students and the university name after that dear students you will find the points in bullet in bullets have a look all in parallel dear students candidate for bachelor in mechanical mechanical engineering degree me major ac academic courses highlights company property management marketing economics english and then technology communication information management system modern fabrication system now all the bullet points are in parallel style after that dear students is the next heading that is occupation and the topic type heading as per the rules of the parallel structure of heading the first heading appeared in the first degree but in topic type and over here second time when it appeared in the first degree it also is in topic type so thereby over here mr allen is following the rule of the parallel structure of the headings the time period december 2011 to till present then the job and then the designation and after that the responsibilities in bullets here you will find a small error dear students 
application support and industry projects tracing to sales office to achieve the sales budget and new industry market application research and the next bullet point is pay suitable visits to end users and di for seminars and technical presentations with salesperson or distribution while collecting marketing information and competitor information analysis now these two bullet points are not parallel to each other the first bullet point is starting with a noun application support adjective plus noun combination whereas the second bullet point is starting with a verb if simply over here let us make it parallel by getting the first word converted into a noun over here now it's parallel visits to end users and di for seminar and technical presentations with salesperson or distribution while collecting marketing information and competitor information analysis now the bu two bullet points are in parallel format with each other next year students the next appointment and the details they are the bullet points and the responsibilities over here kindly have a look on the screen are already in parallel all starting with the second form of the verb analyzed have a look on the screen the first word of the first bullet point over here is analyzed let me highlight it separately for you analyzed after that the word participated after that the word verb with second form visualized so three bullet points starting all with the second form of the verb parallel format of the bullets as well then dear students the next employment uh, the next job or the designation and the responsibilities in the bullets have a look again the bullets given over here are in parallel format after that awards dear students in parallel format then competencies and interests in parallel format english english ability and it should be german ability by the way then computer skills dear students national computer level 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 it should be the word level third certificate network communication professional certificate of assistant information office a i o c++ vba provision jmp autocad 3d max photoshop solid works and that is all the computer skills after that your students you will find the heading personal interests and he says basketball skating english elegant and snooker so at last dear students mr elenian could um uh, write a reasonably professional resume that you just looked at in front of the in front of you on the screen now dear students we will be discussing some of the funny mistakes um that people have been doing in their resumes these are the practical examples of the real resumes picked up from the real resumes just to share few of them with you so that you do not repeat the same funny mistakes in your resumes have a look one of the candidates somewhere wrote in the resume have a look on the screen career break in 1999 to renovate my horse so it is not horse it was the word house that the candidate or the um, person whose resume it was mistakenly wrote as horse it was not horse it was house nineteen ninety to nineteen ninety seven stewardess royal air force is there any post like that in royal air force by the way i think no then hobbies enjoying cooking chinese and italian 
Now it's not clear whether she's cooking the Chinese people or Italian people or Chinese and Italian food. Then service for old man to check they are still alive or not. In the skill portion, one of the candidates, your students kindly have a look on the screen, um, wrote cleaning skills, bleaching, pot washing, window cleaning, mopping, etc. When you are writing a, C, a resume or CV, if you breathe and you write that, yes, my one of my skills is that I am breathing, then another skill of mine is that my heart is beating. Yet another skill of my uh, mind is that red blood is running in my veins. So at least your skills must be having the level of skills while you're mentioning them. One of the candidates, kindly have a look on the screen, dear students, included a letter from his mother along with the resume. This is really funny and awkward. You cannot add up any personal recommendations from your family members who are not having any professional link with you uh, while you are trying to find a job somewhere in any company in a professional way. Um, this is really funny because you are not a small baby with a feeder in your mouth rather you are a grown-up professional candidate and you should be showing your maturity and this stance uh, has spoken not of a mature candidate but the one who is simply relying on the relations to breathe to eat to stand to sleep to walk so a person showing that he is or she is totally dependent on others and he is having nothing of his own in his inside. Then one of the candidates wrote resume as kindly have a look on the screen as play one, act one as a play, act one, act two, act three, etc. Candidate wrote resume as a play, act one, act two, act three, etc. This is really funny. There's a difference between a play, a drama, and a novel, and a resume. A resume is a very short summary of your uh, ex experience, of your skills, of your academic qualification, and that is all. Getting it converted into a story, it is really uh, awkward, not recommended. And one of the candidate included naked pictures of himself. It's very pathetic, unfortunate. And here have a look on the line written by one of the candidates. Skills, strong work ethic, attention to detail, team player, then again self-motivated and then again attention to detail. Now this is very um, sarcastic and uh, very uh, funny uh, dear students if you kindly have a look on the screen. The person is saying that I am a personality, I am a kind of the person who pays full attention to details of each and everything, who is a very close and minute observer of different things. But over here in this single line he unconsciously or consciously could not display that characteristic of his personality because he repeated this line this phrase attention to detail twice have a look on the screen attention to detail appeared for the first time over here and then the same phrase appeared for the second time over here attention to detail so the line says that this is false the person cannot pay attention to details. He is not a keen and minute observer. So the words say something else and the reality is something else. 
and then yet another example there was a woman who sent her resume and cover letter without deleting someone else's editing for her including such comments for uh, like i don't think you want to say this about yourself here so she was trying to take the help from of another person on internet and uh, she simply forgot to remove uh, that uh, editing help to delete that editing help and that line moved on with her resume unedited towards the uh, prospective employer of course would have created a very negative impression that the person could not edit her cv herself thereby how can one rely on that person uh, for uh, whom it's quite difficult to devise write and create her own or edit her own cv like mr allen there was another applicant dear students who did uh, one thing and that he um, simply placed his head shot as the background of his entire cv so it was his face as the background or watermark of his of the entire cv the resume it is a resume not the cover page of a magazine there should be a difference between a resume and the cover page for a magazine then there was an another candidate dear students kindly have a look on the screen who uh, wrote a very interesting comment about his interests and let us see what is that comment playing with my two dogs they actually belong to my wife but i love the dogs more than my wife i think i do not need to say anything about um these uh, this line uh, talking about the interest of the candidate this line itself speaks of the serious nature of the candidate and the selection criteria of the candidate what to write in the resume and what not to write yet there was another candidate dear students kindly have a look on the screen like mr allen mr allen decorated the resume with strawberries and apples and ice cream cones and over here there was an other uh, applicant who used the color paper and then he designed um, he drew glitter designs around the border okay dear students then so one applicant used the color paper and then drew designs with the glitters on the side of the resume again dear students i repeat this is a very serious document this is your resume and you cannot go for such experiments with your resume this is not going to put a positive impression of yours rather a very negative impression then dear students another candidate right over there in the resume one of the hobbies kindly have a look on the screen what is the hobby that he is writing getting drunk every night down by the water playing my guitar and smoking pot the next now getting drunk every night your students is it a very positive virtue that you are communicating the candidate is communicating negative point of yours being highlighted in a resume totally ununderstandable and a, and a candidate was asked why you are interested in this position then the answer that the candidate gave kindly have a look on the screen this is such a hilarious reply to keep my parole officer from putting me back in jail that is why he wanted the job the next year students a woman a candidate had attached a picture of herself in a mini mouse costume on a resume hobbies another candidate yet another candidate was awkwardly brave to write the hobbies like drugs and girls now this is a very interesting example in front of you dear students uh, there was a post of web designer somewhere in the advertisement and for that the post of the web web designer there is a candidate who is um um uh, writing the something under the heading of job related skills now let us see how he relates how he gives the one of the skills and how he relates it with the job he writes 
can function without additional oxygen as to at 24000 feet dear students this was not uh, uh, the job for a person who is going to dive deep in a sea it was the job of a web designer and the related skills should have been mentioned over here one candidate wrote kindly have a look on the screen hobbies what are your hobbies and the answer was having good time and then dear students in history people the employers did find some cvs with grease stains on them and with chocolate marks on them it's very interesting dear students kindly have a look on the screen one resume that came across uh, an employer's desk stated how the individual had won a contest for building toothpick bridges in middle school dear students now these are the various examples funny examples that are funny at times um, can be uh, called funny examples of the statements on a resume but the point is this what result will they be bringing to you as a candidate this is extremely serious this funny beginning has a very serious and tragic ending such candidates normally are not selected even for the job interview so you should avoid going for stupid or funny statements in a resume which is a very very serious document let me show you some other examples dear students candidate explained a gap in the employment by saying that it was because he was getting over the death of his cat for 3 months it's funny but it's having a message as well that if the candidate uh can take too long so long on some trivia on, on some such trivial matters then how would or how can he absorb any shock during the job professionally so would the candidate handle the job or the entire uh, organization would be handling that candidate another candidate wrote his hobbies kindly have a look on the screen candidate's hobbies included sitting on a levy at night and watching alligators really interesting and yet another candidate explained a stealing incident dear students by saying that we stole a pig but it was really a small pig and one of the candidates included the family medical history dear students we are discussing those statements which cannot be weighed or marked or uh, thought of as uh, positive statements they can be uh, only nominated as funny non professional statements which are highly lethal for your selection for the job interviews There was another candidate dear students uh, that wrote a nine page cover letter accompanied by four page resume and one applicant tried to make an impression by using four different fonts three ink colors and a variety of highlighting options on her resume like Mr Ellis Mr Allen I suppose hmm Kindly have a look in, on another statement by a candidate he says he revolved customer problems and inquiries he wanted to write a resolved and over here he is saying he revolved customer problems and inquiries the wrong use of the spellings is might might turn out to be lethal your employer might take it as such that he actually revolved he did not resolve and then your students consistently tanked a top sales as top sales producer for new accounts he wanted to write ranked and he wrote tanked wrong use of the word mistakenly consciously or unconsciously
then dear students one of the candidate writes in one of his capabilities that he often uses a laptop like I would say I often breathe my heart often beats then another person is giving his capability as able to say the ABC backward in under five seconds One of the candidate writes, dear student, the f I finished 8th in my 10th class. And other candidate says that he was on a leave. There was another candidate who was on a leave from uh, another job. And when he was asked to explain the reason for being on leave, the reason was that, kindly have a look on the screen, reason for being, for leaving, not on leave, he simply left that job and he said that reason for leaving that job was maturity leave. Then another candidate says, am a perfectionist and rarely if ever forget details, if, if ever forget details. Now he never forgets details but he has forgotten to remove this one if and has used the if twice. Kindly have a look on the screen. Then another candidate says it's best for employers that I not work with people. He wants to apply in an organization which is a group of people working together and this person is applying in that organization for a post and saying that I want to work alone. It's not good if people work with me for the people who are working with me. And yet another candidate says, let's meet so that you can ooh-ah over my experience. It's very funny. And I talked to one of my students what this ooh-ah means. And she told me, ma'am, this means that so that I can boast off in front of you that this is what I am, this is what I am having, this is what I have done. I never knew the meaning of this ooh-ah. Another candidate says, I am having an excellent track record, although I am not a horse. This is a very serious document resume and such statements. Another candidate posts that you will want to you will you will want me to be the head of Hongko in no time. He is talking to the head of the company who is already head of the company and saying that you will want me to be the head of the company in no time challenging the head directly would that head even thought in the wildest dreams to have such candidates in the interviews one of the candidates says i have become completely paranoid trusting completely no one and absolutely nothing again would such be candidate such a candidate be ever called for the job interview Personal interests, one of the candidates says, donating blood, 14 gallons so far. Marital status, one of the candidates says that often, and children various. Another candidate, in his achievements, writes, instrumental in ruining entire operation of Midwest chain store. So a uh, catastrophic action, a negative action of um, the candidate is being highlighted by the candidate himself or herself over here that I did that negative thing and he is quite, uh, um, um, you can say, he's not ashamed of it. Uh, he's quite happy about it, um, proud of it. Then one of the candidates over here, kindly have a look on the screen, says that one of his greatest interests is gossiping. Then dear students, kindly have a look on the very interesting part over here. One of the experience, in the experiences section, one of the candidate writes chapter president 1887 till 1992. 1887, count from 1887 till 1992, more than a century. Blunder. 
Dear students, another experience written by a candidate demonstrated ability in multi-testing. He wanted to write kindly, have a look on the screen. He wanted to write multitasking, but he wrote multi-testing. Languages, speak English and spinach. Spinach, the vegetable. It was Spanish and he wrote spinach. And reason for leaving, I thought the world. One of the candidates left the previous job and the reason that he gave for leaving the previous job was that I thought what the world was coming to an end. So the candidate can think it at any time in this job as well that the world is coming to an end and leave your job. And one of the candidates is giving the objective kindly have a look on the screen to hopefully associate with a millionaire one day this is the objective a very superior objective of candidate so the same superior and good and mature decisions would be expected from such a candidate another candidate says in his skills portion I have technical skills that will take your breath away Then another candidate, kindly have a look on the screen, dear students, very interesting. Another candidate says, I need, why are, why, what is your objective? Why do you want this job? Have a look on the screen. I need money because I have bills to pay and I would like to have life. Go out, partying, please my young wife with gifts. Now this is the objective that a candidate is writing on the resume. And qualifications, one of the candidates is writing in his qualifications, twin sisters has accounting degree. So the qualifications of his sisters um, is standing as his qualification in the resume. And one of the candidates says, have not been in the experience section, I have not been abducted by aliens. Special skills, kindly, it's very interesting dear students, I have got a PhD in human feelings. There are many other examples dear students in front of you that you can analyze closely that you should not be adding up such sentences in your CVs, in your resumes because they will not make you stand anywhere and you will be losing the opportunity even to get an, an opened up door for a job interview. Dear students wishing you uh, best of luck in all the good areas of life. Till then see you inshallah in the next lecture. Allah Hafiz.